Yeah, cat hair. It's always gross. The cats, they get right up in your face, and then their hair gets everywhere. Evan Rules gets first. Guys, that was quick. I didn't even get a chance to do my... That was uh, less than 20 seconds. That was pretty good. What's up, everyone? How's it going? I'm really tired today. Um, I was up late last night building stuff in Scrap Mechanics, so I'm, I'm really tired today. But we're still going to stream anyways. Uh, it's a little bit earlier, but that's okay. So we're going to stream a couple hours. We'll see how long I last before I die. I'm, uh, I am exhausted, but uh, yeah. Hi from the Netherlands. What's up? You have a million cat hairs in your mouth. Well, did you count them all? I mean, I don't, I don't believe you unless you count them all. Europeans for the win from Germany. What's up? Playoff right now? What playoff? Hockey? Soccer? Football? I don't know, American football? Your birthday's on the Sunday. Well, happy birthday, Dead Stunter. Or D3 Ad Stunter, I guess, because... No, I'm not dead. I'm just exhausted. Like, I'm really tired today. Like, I, I got, like, maybe four hours of sleep last night. If that, like, I'm just, I'm exhausted. I was doing some scrap mechanic stuff. Uh, I was working on this stuff, which I'll show... Um, I think I called it unnamed still. Yeah, this stuff, right? So, like, basically what I've been working on is, uh, some logic stuff, because, you know, why not? And it was really late at night, but, um, if you use four pistons, Lord Payne had brought this up, and he's like, you know, if you use four pistons and you use a binary counter, and you have blocks 1 through 15, you can actually, just by tapping, so you can get, there's one distance, and there's two, and there's three, and there's four and five and so on and it's basically it's counting in binary right and there's six seven eight so on so forth and it'll go all the way up to the end um if you pulse it you'll you'll break it but the problem with this circuit is you can't count down you need to use like what's called a ripple counter or a synchronous adder and um yeah every time i try and do it i end up with some weird infinite loop stuff and i was up super late trying to figure that one out and I couldn't get it to do it, but basically the idea is that you could control piston heights individually with four pistons rather than one, right? If it hasn't started for you, reload the page. I'm, I'm here, I'm talking, I'm doing stuff. So anyways, I was working on that last night, and then I was also working on some other stuff. Um, like, I'll just show you guys this, because why not? I'll, I'll, eventually I'm going to put all this in a video, but this one I thought was kind of funny. Um, if you guys have heard of a ratchet, so a ratchet is like, uh, basically like you have a gear and you have a, a hook, and it goes across the gear one way, which doesn't push the gear, and then it pulls it a little bit. And so I decided to create a piston car that uses a ratchet mechanism. So you can see here we can we can press W, and then we'll go like, yeah, there we go, perfect, you see? And then it'll, it'll pull the ratchet teeth up, and then it'll pull forward on the car. I mean, it's the most useless form of transportation possibly in Scrap Mechanic. Um... But yeah, it's pretty awesome. So I was, I was playing around with this just because I thought, why not? Let's do some circuits and logic and stuff. And then you press 1, and that reverses the cycle so you know you can go backwards. Again, um, zero practical applications for this super awesome technology. But but yeah, this is, I mean, this is, it, yeah. It's it's pretty cool stuff, but yeah, it's not, it's not very useful. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So that's what I was working on last night anyways. Uh, I was also working on some other stuff too, but I don't know if I have it on my lift yet. I don't think I have it on my lift yet. Um, I'm always working on cool things. I've been just doing a lot more piston experiments because I've just been trying to play around with them and, and see what's capable. Um, but there was a stream a long time ago. I should make a steam engine from that. Yeah, I, I am working on a steam engine as well. Uh, I don't know when I'm gonna have that done, but I am working on a steam engine that uses, well not like a steam engine, but like a piston engine that uses these pistons to spin the cylinders instead of using thrusters, and hopefully we'll make that go better. Um, but yeah. So anyways, I was working on, I know you guys, we had, I had done the drone mothership a long, long, long time ago. Like, I started that stream and, uh, it was really laggy because I was stupid, and I was, basically what I was doing was I was making wings, you know, like this. So I had, like, uh, a bearing, and then I had these big wings that came off the side like that, and they had thrusters in them. And, of course, we all know how Scrap Mechanic loves bearings, and, uh, yeah, that didn't, it wasn't working out very well. So... I had spent a ton of time rebuilding a ton of stuff, and basically I built this one from scratch. So, just to give you an idea of what this looks like, let's take it into the sun there. It's a little bit hard to see here. So, it's very it's very unfinished. There's still a lot of work to be done, a lot of interior stuff first. But I'm kind of, I want to make this thing, like, really cool. Like, I want to give it escape pods and stuff. 
So this is it on a lift. Um, yeah, not much to it. I mean, I've got like, you know, six, eight engines. I think, I don't know. I just had to try to do some kind of cool engine pattern. Uh, there are a bunch of thrusters in it right now. It doesn't float or hover or anything like that. But you see, if we take it off the lift, there are landing gear which deploy using pistons. So it uses like 14 pistons on the front and 16 on the back. And uh, it deploys landing gear, which is going to be awesome. Because when we go to... I had this bearing set up and it was like the laggiest thing in the world. Um, yeah. And then, of course, we've got this door. We can just hit that button and get in and out of the door. And then, of course, we've got the entire cargo bay ramp, which opens. So I was watching a lot of Firefly. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the show Firefly. Love the show Firefly. It's a great show. But I was watching a lot of Firefly, and I was like, man, I need to build, like, a ship that's got a big cargo door like that. And so we've got that, and then, you know, in the back, I've got some sliding rooms here. Just a nice little cabin for some, some crew members. I'm really digging piston doors now. Like, sliding doors on pistons is just great. And then, again, another one back in here. You know, identical to the other room. Nothing really fancy about these rooms. Uh, and then we've got just, like, some random paneling stuff for no reason. And then we're just overlooking the cargo bay here. Just a nice little catwalk. I figured, why not? And then, of course, we can loop back around and go up the stairs. We're dipping a little forward. I might need I might need some stronger pistons in the front. But anyways, we can go up here. We've got like a little sort of kitchen area thing going on with a bathroom. I don't I don't really know. And then we can come back in here and then we get into the cockpit. And uh, yeah, the cockpit's awesome. And I mainly built this like this so you get like a decent first person view. Plus you can, you know, walk over top of these people without having to deal with stuff. So it kind of makes it nice they're sunk in. But I, I really like I'm digging this cockpit, so it's gonna be sweet. Um but yeah, a lot a lot of work to do on the ship. So I don't really know what I want to do next. I mean, eventually, I there's going to be a gimbal down in this back room. So this back room is going to have a gimbal in it for sure. Because I want it to be able to, to use an autopilot feature. Um, it's going to have co-pilot controls for sure. Definitely want to try and put an RC drone in here that you can control. So, you know, get on that. And obviously the thing has to fly. So there's, there's a, a bunch of stuff still that needs to be done. Um... Yeah, I don't really know where to start. The song right now is called K391 Dream of Something. Well, it's by K391, apparently, Dream of Something. What's up, Nobi1 Kenobi? That's a pretty sweet name. Why don't they use the Unreal Engine? Well, I don't know. And what should I do? What's the song? Yes? No? What? What? Hello? Hi, guys. Hi, Savage Boom. Hi, Aiden. August, what's up? Max, how's it going? Start with the autopilot? Well, the thing has to fly first before I'm gonna put an autopilot on it. Okay, why is this tilted forward? Is it just a hill or is it just more powerful? It's definitely tilted forward. It's probably just beefier in the back. It's more powerful in the back with less... Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll add some weight to the back eventually. Um, well, it, it needs it needs a bunch of stuff. So first, well, first thing I'm gonna do, I think, is I'm gonna seal this room off because I want this room to stay sealed. So this one, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah, so we'll seal this room. And one, one, two, three, four, five. See that? That'll be good. So we can just do this. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Just like that. And then drop this. Whoops. Yeah, because I want this to be like a sealed engine room type dealio. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just have like a nice little button right here on the inside of that door jam. And the other buttons we can just put like... Uh, yeah, we can put it there. Something like that. Whatever. Alright, and then to control this, we just use some logic because everybody loves logic. It's just logic and a controller, really. I'm, I mean... The only reason you need a controller is because I want the, the piston to be default on, not default off. So, I mean, you could do that with Logic too. really. You could just control it that way. But this, this is uh, sort of the main hallway of, of crap that no one wants to look at. And, uh, yeah. So, we're I've been basically setting them up with a, a binary bit on each door so I can do push button activation rather than switch activation. I mean, you could always just, you know, change stuff. Yeah, no. But... All right, we'll do that, perfect. And then we'll just go like this. And then we put a timer on this. And I've just been doing two seconds because it seems to be good enough. Because, yeah. 
So basically, when that's set, it resets itself. Uh, that gets set by that. That sets this. This connects to my piston right there. Piston is default out five and retracts to zero. Perfect. And then we use this white guy as my master reset. So when you put everything on a lift, that white guy activates and that spawns this. And then we just connect this to the buttons like so. And grab this button. Yeah, so this is going to be the whole big room of stuff that just, you know, whatever. We'll just use it for storage and all sorts of wiring. So then if we hit this button, we got a nice sliding door there. And then that closes. Perfect. Then we can hit this button. It does have that two second delay because it's not an interrupt timer or anything. So you're going to be stuck waiting for however long the timer stays open. That's why I kind of find two seconds is a good time. It's enough for you to go through and uh, and problem, problem solve. But you see there, if you try and hit it right away, you got to wait a little bit. Um, I don't think I'm going to put a door here. I think, if anything, I'd just like to widen this out a little bit and leave the cargo bay open. I mean, we've got an open concept spaceship here is what we're going to do. It's an open concept. That was a uh, grade A joke telling material right there. It's almost 11 at night and hungry. Yeah, that's crazy. Do sensor thrusters like stabilizers to help keep the ship balanced? Yeah, I'm going to put a gyro in it. So, or a, yeah, a gyroscope. So basically the gyroscope is going to sit in the back. It'll stay level. And then um, as the gyro tilts, the, uh, the stabilizers will adjust for it. So I think right now what I'd like to do actually is get it to fly. It is still leaned forward a bit, which I'm not a huge fan of. And I know why. It's because these are, are all on max and they've probably got too much power for their own good so let's try reducing just a couple of them because there's the problem is there's more pistons on the back than there is on the front so i think the back is getting lifted up and staying a little bit higher than the front is and i think that's what's causing the issue so let's just if i drop these outside ones back maybe that'll help a little bit i mean probably not because i think it's the sheer number is gonna win but we'll see all right we'll do that perfect so yeah, in terms of stuff to put in this, I think for the cargo bay, I'd like to have some sort of like a small rover type thing and then a, uh, a remote control drone type thing. So let's just, uh... yeah, that looks a lot better there. I mean, still a little bit lean forward. It might be terrain though. Is it, is it, am I leaned up on the terrain? No, I'm not. It's literally just still too powerful. Hmm. What if I cut these like down to half? Okay, let's you know let's cut these back. This just the back row down to like three. And then I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do the engines too because I have particles turned off uh, because there are so many thrusters in this. I know you could use modded thrusters or anything else, but there are, uh, there's so many thrusters that particles if they're turned on it just explodes. What's up, Dalton? Welcome to the stream. I mean, it's a little bit lean forward, but you know what? Whatever. I don't, I don't really care. So let's let's see um, what we've got in terms of flight capability. So yeah, we'll have to we'll still have to fix that lean because it's definitely going to be leaning forward constantly. So I'm not going to use a um, I'm not going to use the traditional WASD converter. I'm going to use a W converter, a WAD converter, and there's going to be no reverse, like no S. Um, the spaceship's gonna be able to rotate on a dime, like you'll just be able to hold A and D and have it rotate on a dime like a tank. And yeah, I'll put it on the workshop when I'm done. But uh, in terms of going forward, I'm just gonna use a W converter so I can have everything done in circuitry. And the way to do that is with, um, with a controller and a piston, actually. And it's, it's really, really cool. And you can put the piston you set to a range of one. It doesn't really matter. You can give it max speed, so it's got the fastest response time. Oh, although, so hold on. We got to do that in the controller. There we go. It should be on max. Yeah, it's on max by default in the controller, right? And so all you do is you give it a value of one, and you put it on a loop, right? And then you connect this into the seat. And so now your seat... Well, here, let, let's connect a seat out here just so you guys can see what this is doing before I connect it to a seat in there. But now your seat is actually controlling the piston with, with W. So if we put this here and this here, and then we can just put a couple sensors, right? So we can just go sensor and like this. And then these will be the actual W converters per se. And they'll pick up when you move. So here's what happens. So we'll put it on a seat and then we'll go zoom in here a lot. 
and see if we hold W, it'll move that piston up the one block distance, and when we let go of W, it'll turn off. Now, if you don't put it on a loop, if you just leave it off the loop, then you can tap W and it'll go up, and if you tap S, it'll go down. So now it's acting like a switch almost. Oops, I hit my mic. It's acting like a switch instead of a button. So you can see that tap W, tap S, tap W, tap S. But if you put it on a loop, then you get that traditional, you know, hold W to move forward type thing. So that's that's how we'll do the W converters. And then of course the A and D converter are just the standard thing. Why logic? Just go simple because um, you can't do an autopilot if you don't have a logic control set up. Your autopilot has to be able to activate based on logical inputs, so there's no way to do it without logic. Unfortunately. So, okay, so this one will be for the left one here, and this one will be for that one there. Although it really doesn't matter. Okay, perfect. Come on. There we go. And I don't really know which one's which, but um, we'll, we'll figure that out later. It doesn't really matter. So that'll be up, down, left for each of the uh, each of the gates there. So these will be the controls for like the left seat and the right seat. Because the idea being, if I put a remote control drone on it, the drone's going to use the same controls as the ship. So you don't have to get out of the cockpit. You can just switch with a switch and just be done with it. Um, so these are W for both of them. So that one will be W for that one and W for this one. Got that right, correct? Yeah. Yes. And then we'll figure out if these are these are correct afterwards. I'm not really too sure. Um, should be able to find out. I don't know if I can zoom through there. Yeah, but there we go. So left and right and forward. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so that's that. Now we need to wire up uh, the on switch. That would be useful to have. So I'm literally going to put all the switches in the back here. I, I want to leave the cockpit like basically empty. So I'm not going to have all these buttons and switches all over the floor in the cockpit. They're all just going to be in this back room. And uh, yeah, that'll be that. So we'll just have a one switch for each of these. And these will go into this exclusive ore, which will then go into this initial gate, which turns on all the thrusters. You can hear them. But yeah, we're not we're not moving yet. So we need a lot more, a lot more speed speed on those thrusters. And yeah, Simon, once you get used to the painted bearing life, you can't uh, you can't go back. Do a kill switch? Well, I mean, that's kind of what one is. One will, one will kind of be the kill switch. Like, one's going to be the... Your ship has to be activated with one thing. Um, the landing gear... We're definitely going to do uh, deployable when they see the ground only. So they're not going to deploy unless they see the ground because there's really no point otherwise. Might as well just have them automatically retract. So we'll put a sensor like here and another one here. And we'll just crank these up to max. And it'll basically be if any one of the four sensors right by the landing gear is detected, then the whole all four landing gear will deploy. And the other set of gear is up in there, so we're just going to put like a sensor, uh, like one, two back, and then we'll go like there. One, two, three. So it'll be three back, so one, two, three, and then something like that. Perfect. So right now the landing gear are auto-deployed. Yeah. And they're, they're nice and bouncy because of the way that the pistons work, which is great. This was actually really laggy with c uh, controllers and bearings, but once uh, once the pistons got added, this became a lot less laggy. So the landing gear is these two Majumner guys here. Um, let's see. I need no that I need that to be the landing gear. Yeah. So okay, I don't need this or this anymore. I just need these. So I just need an ore condition, really. And the ore condition has to be there to assess with both gates. So now the landing gear are down. So if it's uh, this one or this one. Oh, God. Everything's... Okay, everything moved. It, so it's amazing. With the 30... What? I think it's 30... 30 pistons, actually. No. 30? Yeah, 30 pistons. 16 plus 14. 
um, it's actually enough to lift the whole thing up off the ground, which is amazing. Like, if you think about it, with bearings and controllers, you can't lift concrete. Like, that's why I had all these thrusters originally put on, was they were absorbing the weight of the vehicle, but then uh, the pistons are now able to do it completely on their own, which is unbelievable when you think about it. Like, that's just crazy, crazy strong. I messed up a sensor placement, did I? I don't think I did. I think you guys are messed up. I mean, maybe. I'm tired. I'm really, really tired. So, like, if I mess something up, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised at all. One, two, three. Right? Three from the front. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. And then in the back ones, it's like back corner, right? I, I don't think I screwed up. No, I look good. Right? So, like, when it's within that kind of range of the ground, it'll deploy. And, they, like, those deploy almost instantly. So, if you kill the switch, you kill the switch. Alright, let's get this thing to fly, then. At least up. So, where are all my thrusters currently? Oh, they're all kind of in the wall. And in here. I need more in there, then. Oh, I see. Okay, they're all back in here. Gotcha, gotcha. Honestly, I built the first part of this a while ago, and I never really went back to it for a while. So, I, I don't even know uh, how close we are to getting this thing to fly or not. So, it definitely doesn't fly yet. Um, so, that's that's objective number one. We need to move up. And we need... So, we need actually... We need neutral buoyancy, because if we're going to make it with an autopilot, it needs to stay relatively neutrally buoyant, like the blimp did. And then I need to have uh, additional thrusters that'll boost it up. So... These will be the additional up buttons. And going down, there will be another button. So I'm just wiring this all up right here so I don't forget what everything does. Okay, so this will be up. So, okay, that down. Up. And again, it's, it's the dual controls, so both seats will do the exact same thing no matter what. So there we go. So then this will be neutral buoyancy, and then this will be up, and this will be down. So now we need to get the neutral buoyancy working. So I need a lot more thrust. For sure. That's not the room I need to go in. I need to go downstairs. Okay, so... How do I get in there? Oh yeah, engine, right. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna, like, put... More thrusters in here, really. I mean, let's try, like... I don't know, maybe five more on each side. One, two, three, or five. And we'll just crank them all to mechs. There's a screaming baby in my apartment uh, hallway right now. It's it's really quite awesome, actually, to listen to. I'm kind of debating on, on running out there and screaming with the baby and seeing who can scream louder. It's, it's really aggressive. I'm surprised you guys don't even hear that, actually, because, uh, yeah, screaming babies. It's like my one cat. She wouldn't shut up last night. Oh, that's, that's part of the reason why I couldn't sleep. It was just like... All night wouldn't shut up it's like i have a two-year-old and i like i don't actually have a two-year-old but it some days it feels like it with the cat it's just a little bit ridiculous so i'm really really tired today and uh but yeah it is what it is all right let's uh let's see if that does anything or if i just wasted my time but yeah that's why i figured i would just continue working on this build i don't spend enough time working on builds and i figure you know i might as well stream and i know what you do oh we're almost there It's gonna need more in the front for sure. Like it's not gonna, there's no way the front's gonna get off the ground. It's gonna be all back and it's just gonna tip forward as soon as it takes off. Like we're gonna need thrusters like up in here. I don't know, let's see, what, let's see what we can do first. Le Bush, L Bush. And yeah, crisp and range with the stream rules right on, buddy. And yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, put thrusters in the back. And yes, I will do that at some point in time. Um, I think I'm going to have to do lights uh, 100%. That's what I was thinking too for the engines. The engines are just going to have to be made up of lights because... With particle effects off, 
um, you won't see much. And then, of course, the same thing is going to happen, too, because the lights don't show without particle effects, which is fine, but uh, we're going we're gonna to have to have something that fakes it to make it look like the edges are lighting up. So my plan for this stream, anyways, um, is to get it working to the point where at least I can fly it around with the autopilot. I don't know if I'm going to add a full remote control vehicle or not yet because, um, like I said, this I plan on taking a while to build this one. And really, I'm, I'm going to put a lot of stuff in this. Like, I want to have an escape pod system and, you know, all sorts of cool features. And really make it something that, you know, I could use in survival mode potentially and have as, like, you know, my main sort of vehicle for getting around. But, of course, we'll see how far the lag lets us go. But I do want to at least get it flying today and uh, get all that working and get the autopilot working and then see how much time we have after that. I have a feeling now, though, we're going to tip forward for sure. Did I? Yeah, I didn't even hook these up. This is how tired I am, guys. It's a problem. All right, there's five there. Like, yeah, 50, yeah, it's just gonna lean forward. I can just, I can just see it coming now. It's already leaning forward, and this is not giving me any more confidence on the matter. It's almost there. Like, you see that? It, it, it definitely needs a bit more in the front, though. All right, let's give it a bit more in the front, and then we'll give it some thrusters for, uh, the thing. Add the RC drone Mubo made. Mubo's RC drone is a little large, I think, for this creation. I don't think they're exactly in the same scale. Um, I'm probably going to have to put thrusters up here. Inside the hangar here a little bit. Is there... Can I delete that? No, that's that's open to the space of the universe. Um, yeah, we're going to... I think we're going to have to put some thrusters in here. Especially once I get the, uh, the whole thing working. But that's... You know what? I don't mind doing that because uh, you're going to need to be able to adjust thrusters anyways depending on the kind of weight you put in this thing and unless i build like i don't really want to build some bulge out there so yeah no we're just gonna we're just gonna do this and we'll see what this kind of dealio does um yeah all right let's just try these Like something like that, I think. I don't know. Maybe this will be enough. Like, honestly, like the whole building of planes, the scrap mechanic is kind of just a guessing game until you get it to work. And there's just a lot of tuning. Use the back two holes like a hyperdrive. Yeah. My drop pod's a little bit large for this too. I'm going to make like a really small one because the thing with the escape pod is it doesn't need to be able to balance itself and go up. It only needs to go down. So all it's going to do is just shoot down and then flare real quick at the very end and kind of like slam into the ground. So, and there'll be like single man drop pods. Like you just like have one seat in it and that's it. And a single thruster just blasts you towards the earth. Like it's not going to have anything really fancy about it. So, all right. So we've got lift now. That's actually pretty even too. And then we should see the landing gear go away. Yeah, that's sick. That's actually awesome. Okay, so it's a little bit powerful, which is good. So we can tune it down a little bit. So let's go into the back of the engines, take out a couple thrusters. And then let's uh, let's put in some actual like lift stuff. So... Yeah, I'll put lift here. So I'm going to paint these lift ones. Actually, I'm going to paint them blue so I can really easily see which ones they are. And then in the back here, we can delete a couple of these ones. Like this. And replace them with a lift one right here. I'm just trying to space everything out a little bit so that it kind of like lifts evenly. The key to the autopilot is going to be making sure everything's like really, really buoyant and really, really well balanced. Um, autopilot fails if, if stuff's not well balanced. So it's kind of an issue. All right, so we're going to go up now. 
We're gonna need down thrusters too eventually, but um, so lift is either of these two. So this one goes to that. And this goes to this one back here. Come on, where are you? There we go. And then that one down there. Goes to there. And then this one goes to that other one back down there. Right, so now we should be able to... I mean, hopefully this is relatively neutrally buoyant now. I mean, it's still a little bit high on the ability to go... So it goes up too quick. So we need, we need to cut some of the back thrusters again. We'll cut another one out of the back. Come on, you're my favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much. Hello, Darkness. 1010 Maelstrom Wraith. A binary donation for the Prince of Logic. Thank you, sir. Maelstrom Wraith. So that's a 1010 donation. Which means... But if it's a 1010 donation, you didn't actually donate me $10. Bonus points to whoever knows what you actually donated me if it's 1010. Boom. Shout out to Ernest Bryant. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Add elevators and do it right now. The elevator is small enough. Also, thanks for the shout out. Yes. You know what? I think you're right. I think... I think you're 100% right. I think I have stairs here, and I shouldn't have stairs here. Like, this is a flippin' spaceship. This is because I built this before there were bear or before there were pistons. And so I didn't think of, oh, well, there's elevators. So I think you're right. I think I need to change this and make this just so much better. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, we're gonna make these elevators. You're 100% right. Because, like, yeah, it's, it's stupid to not have elevators in a flippin' spaceship. Like, come on. Alright, so we're gonna do this, do this, do that, do this, do that, something like this. I don't know anymore. We're just gonna pretend like we know what we're doing. Alright, perfect. And now we're gonna go... Like... This? Something like that, maybe? No, we'll go like this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And then this goes like that. This goes like that. We're gonna demo these stairs, because no one cares about these stairs. And actually, this is good because it, it actually opens up more space for, for activities. Um, I don't really know what sort of activities yet, but we will have more space for them when we decide what activities we're going to do. So, I think what we'll do is we'll just, uh, like, we'll just completely open this side up here. And and just, because I don't, I don't need it. Like, I don't even need all this back space here. See, so like, just like that. And then we can seal this with a wall, like so. And then now we can open that up and do all sorts of cool stuff over there. And then we got to put an elevator in here. So is there is there floor below this? Oh, no, there's not. Okay, well, that's no problem. We'll just do this. So you can step up onto it. Actually, no, you can't. Because I... Dang it. Oh, no, we'll just do a double step. Double step onto it. It's fine. Because here's what I want to do. I want to have the elevator uh, with sensors. So you stand on the elevator and it, it moves you up automatically. And then you get off of it and it stops moving. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to do this. And then we're gonna do, this is actually really, really easy logic to do, guys. So you just do, and actually, you know what? This is gonna be even cooler. Let's do it like that. And then let's put the logic gate here. Just like this, perfect. And then we go sensors. Like that, and get this one. Okay, and then these, like, it doesn't even matter. Five, five. I like that elevator idea though. That's that's gonna be sweet, especially because when this thing's moving, uh, walking upstairs when stuff's moving is usually a pain and doesn't work, at least not very easily. So this will be this will be good. All right, we're gonna do this. Perfect. That's all welded up, and then we we just really we just need a timer. So we're just gonna throw one in behind here, um, like that. And this is just the amount of time it waits before it moves, and the amount of time it waits after it's done moving. So. All four of these sensors feed into this OR gate. OR gate feeds into the timer, which then feeds into the piston. Right, so then it'll move up that much. Uh, how high does it have to go? I think it has to go up like seven. So you can stand on it, any of the sensors activate, right? And then we stand off it and it'll go back down.
Sorry, I muted my mic there. I had to sneeze really bad. Well, I think I'm getting sick, to be honest. I'm gonna try and not get sick, but I think I'm I think I'm getting sick. Alright, so we're just gonna do that. And then uh yeah, now we've got this nice little fancy elevator thing going on here. Right? Then we can just walk off. Although I don't like that. Nah, eh, whatever. We'll leave it like that. But yeah, so this is just kind of like a personal elevator. I think it needs to go faster, though. Don't get sick. Yeah, I know. I think you did it, Striker. It was your fault. I watched your stream when you were sick, and it got me sick. That's the power of the internet nowadays. You can, like, get germs through microphones. It's like a new thing, guys. Look it up. It's right up there with microwaving your phone. If you put your phone in the microwave, it'll, like, supercharge your battery. It's a true story. Don't don't try it, though. Seriously. But I, I laugh at all the people who do. Alright, let's do this again now with this one. Oh! But yeah, definitely, definitely not feeling tip-top today. Alright, we're gonna do this. Ba -ba -ba, do this stuff again and again. Adjust these to like four. Doesn't really matter as long as they don't see the roof, which they shouldn't. Do that and then I think this one probably needs to go up like seven or eight as well and uh, again we'll just throw a timer down below there it's cool because you can actually just kind of jump down the elevators which is nice I mean I, they're not like true elevator because everyone's like oh well it should you know you should be able to hit a button and it comes up to see you and it's like no I, I agree you should be able to do that but because they're so small it doesn't really matter you know what I mean like it's like who cares How am I going to paint it? I honestly haven't decided yet how to paint it. Um, I really haven't. I was thinking maybe, like, I'd love white, because it would be, like, you know, kind of spaceship-like. But then, you know, like, I mean, there's the black colors. But the thing is, with no particles, I have lights and stuff. So you can see I have all these lights, but they don't actually shine anywhere. They're just kind of for show, because there's no particles on. Oh, that one's, that one's too much. That's, like, two blocks too much. Come on. All right, let's just put that like that. And then we can just... Really? I can't fit on there? Okay, that's that's nice. Thanks, game. Okay, well... Like... That and like that, I guess? I mean, I don't... Sure. I just want to so you can't like yeah so you can't like get fall back down unless that's and then okay and then that goes down and then you just walk down perfect kind of yeah i mean yeah that, that works walk up wait for that perfect nice little lift all right we're moving our way into the 21st century here so uh we're still too powerful on the old thrusters though still the whole neutrally buoyant thing is not working out i mean it's funny because as we add more weight we're gonna have to adjust it all anyways but um, at least for now, let's just, uh, let's just cut out another one here. And another one here. World War One tags. Why do I need to stream so late at night? Well, for me, it's not late. Like, I mean, I work during the day, right? So I work Monday to Friday during the day. And so, like, right now, anyways. So that's why I have to stream at the times I stream at. It would really make my dreams come true if you could say, I love Scrap Mechanic. Well, I, I, I do love Scrap Mechanic, but do you love Scrap Mechanic? It should be black with one big white stripe on the side with blue on the bottom and orange on the top. Is that what you said? I, I missed that. It's your birthday tomorrow. Well, happy birthday, Emil. Can you do AI Walker bugs that can solve a labyrinth? Um... Yeah, I could try. I mean, maybe. We'll see. I'll have to try it. 
I've done like a see the thing with solving a maze is solving a maze isn't really hard when it comes to AI because all you really have to do is tell it to follow one wall. Like think about it. If, a ma if a, any any maze is solvable, if you always follow one wall, you can pick either the left wall or the right wall. But no matter what, you will eventually get to the end. It won't be the most efficient way to solve the maze, but it will eventually do it. It'll just go into every single dead end and then eventually make its way back out. All right, so there we go. So we're almost neutrally buoyant there, which is good. And then now if we hit two, we get more height. Um, I want to speed that up though. Right, and then if we let off two, you see it'll almost hover in one spot. So that's pretty good. Need, need more power on that though. So we need more of the, the blue thrusters, which is fine. All right, so let's just uh, do that. Okay, going down, going down. So we're gonna put another one here on max. That'll be part of the, there we go, part of the blue movement. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's right. These hook up into here. Okay, so that's this one. Okay, I'm gonna have to go up there to see that. Then let's do more in the back here. Same deal. And actually, while we're at it, let's just put the downward thrusters into, because we're gonna need those as well. So I might as well just put them in pretty much the same spot. And uh, yeah, we'll paint them all blue too, just so we know. And let's do the other side. It's gonna be hard actually to make sure I line these up correctly. That's actually a really good point. I gotta make sure that this is lined up properly. Is that proper? Can't, like it's so hard to tell if it's, okay, well let's just put a block there. Yeah, see look, I'm ahead, I'm ahead by one block even. They're not even, these need to be, these need to be lined up. So we need to go like that and like that. There we go. Now it's lined up. It's ridiculous. It's so hard to tell sometimes with the perspective of this game, what's what. Okay, so let's do the same thing here. So a block goes down here. Nope, block goes, so you can't even tell that right. I'm, I'm just way out of it. All right, let's do this. Block goes up there. Okay, perfect. And then that goes in the back there and then this one goes in behind like that come on there we go i know the weight on the the ship is uneven and technically speaking like it doesn't really matter because it's just the ship mass is gonna be so much larger than the thrusters but i mean it's just one less thing to actually have to wonder when you're trying to balance everything so perfect all right get in here Oh, two seconds. Gotta blow my nose. Sorry about that. I am, uh, I'm definitely, uh, coming down with something. With something, something. But that's okay. I'll keep rolling out with the scrap mechanic videos, because why not? Perfect, and then this one goes to this one. Perfect, and then goes to the back. Up top there, and then this one at the back on top there. You broke your leg, how'd you break your leg? That sounds terrible. I've actually never broken any bones, and I feel really lucky about that. I feel like it would be super painful. Can I put a door on the front? There is a door on the front. I will show you. Don't worry. There is an awesome door on the front already. Currently, the only thing that's not, that doesn't have a door on this thing is the, uh, the engine compartment. Uh, let's see. Do I have a button?
I'm debating on whether or not nah no you know what we'll do this with this okay so the door on the front is controlled by one of these guys this one no it's this one which is fed from this guy which comes from this guy uh yeah i think so if i do that that activates this that activates that so i think i just need to yeah so this will just close the door so the cockpit will have the ability to close the door but not open it see perfect oh and it why doesn't it close dang it doesn't close that other one um how do i close that other one that one connects to here how does that one close that one just connects to there because i made it on a stupid toggle switch uh so I need to reset this, I think. I think I think I reset this. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure here. So that closed that door. Perfect. So there we close all the doors. But yeah, there's there's a big front door there. Sorry guys, I um I built so much of this a while ago. But yeah, see, so we can come down here and then we can open this up. And it's like problem solved. Then we can close that. And then we can hit that button. It opens that up. Or we can hit these buttons and it closes it. So there is a big front cargo door. And then of course we can close that. And then we've got just this door in behind for just, you know, if you're a person. And you can just jump up there pretty easily. Alright, let's see if the flight up and down controls work. I really dig that lift. That's sweet. That one too. Yeah. Hi, cat. All right, so let me go that th three. So three should be up. Why is three not up? Oh, three's down. Oh, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, sorry. Two should be up. That's right. So two's up. So that works. It's still slow, but it's not bad. It's very buoyant. So I'm definitely gonna have to add another set of thrusters for that as well. But I mean, we're moving now, which is good. And then three, three down. Oh, I don't have three actually hooked into anything. That's right, I didn't hook up those down thrusters. Okay, so hold on. So, oh no, I did. Oh really, they just, you don't even notice them. Gotcha, awesome. Okay, so we need a lot more of those. But you can see it's very stable. Like we can just sit here floating at, you know, at height without any issues. So that's exactly what we want in order to put an autopilot on it. Um, is that ability to keep it nice and stable. So, we're going to need more thrusters for up and down, for sure. We're going to need steering thrusters, for sure. We don't... We're going to need roll thrusters and, like, yaw thrusters. But you're not going to control that as a person. That's all going to be controlled by the gyro. Um, you can see here the door just opens and closes in a loop. So, let's get... Let's get... Uh, you know, let's just actually just jump off here and just take it on a lift. That's probably the easiest. But you can see, very, very stable. Like, barely even moving at all so that's that's good i mean it is kind of climbing a little bit but uh we'll fix that so i love the way that suspension or the uh the pistons grab it okay so we need more up thrust for sure and you guys are connected to the gate underneath too and you're connected there and more up thrust in the back engines as well and then we're gonna need a ton more down how am i i've missed a lot you've missed a lot of live streams i hear eh? well i've been doing okay i've been uh, very busy with all obviously all the new piston stuff i do still want to get back into some logic bots and some more brick rigs because i've been having fun with those games still but uh i've just been so involved with pistons and i mean it's been great i i like it but uh yeah definitely definitely really really been busy with the old pistons all right um let's go in here perfect all right let's just go three is this guy so I gotta connect you to no two is the one I want. I'm I'm screwing up my own controls here, guys. Holy cow! I'm I'm way too tired today for this kind of 
activity. Um, legitimately, like, three, four hours of sleep last night. I actually had to wake up this morning after, like, three hours of sleep, two hours of sleep, and, uh, pick up, drive, well, actually not even pick up, drive the girlfriend to work. And then I went back to bed, and then I woke up again and started doing more stuff. So I've just been crazy busy. Um, and it's all really to make content. So it's, it's funny, you know, people say, hey, I, I want to be a YouTuber because I want to play games. And it's like, that's great, but you don't just play games, like, you know, for you, you're, you're, spending a lot of time and hours and effort um, to make things that you know other people will enjoy, not just stuff that you'll enjoy. But I'm, I'm definitely going to enjoy flying around with this. The pistons are just great. Okay, let's see this here. So there's that too. That's a lot faster. I kind of like that speed. Yeah, and then once those pistons get up there, it actually it even moves even quicker. It's pretty good. That's super stable. It doesn't like want to tilt forward or back any, which is great. That's good news. All right, now let's go down three, which is like useless. It barely, it barely even moves down. Yeah. Okay. So we need, we need a lot more down thrust. That's, that's the reality of it. Two dollar donation, cheese for life. Thanks so much, buddy. Is your, did you change your profile pic to a picture of me? Because that's kind of funny. As, well, I refer to my girlfriend as the girlfriend. Well, I don't know. What am I supposed to call her? I mean, her name is her name is, is Jade. I'm Mark, and she's Jade, if that's what you're wondering. I don't know if that if that's... Uh, I mean, you're not really disclosing too many details. But, uh, oh, a big yawn. Jeebus, I'm tired. Ugh. But, yeah, no, her, her name's Jade. I just figured most people are just not going to know who she is, right? So... Can you get a shout out for first live stream for is that luge i don't know i'm hoping it luge or lou lou fim i i honestly i hope it's silent j i'm assuming but yes shout out for your first live stream welcome in okay perfect so make a gun yeah i could do that are you gonna autopilot on this thing yes it's going to have an autopilot yeah exactly it doesn't lag because it doesn't have a ton of bearings it's just pistons and pistons are apparently great for lag all right so let's um let's put some more down thrusters on this thing and then these guys in here i can use them for other stuff as well cat hey come here the one cat, she's in a yelling mood today because um, my girlfriend's not home. And so the cat has decided that it is her mission to let everyone know that it is a national tragedy that the girlfriend is not at home. It's it's very important that everybody knows. Like, really important. Really, like, super... Like, I can't even stress this enough. It is so important. Like, my god, do you know how important it is? It is so important. Yeah, that's this is my cat that I've been dealing with all morning. She hasn't shut up. And I'm so tired today, it's just been like, oh my goodness, cat, just please shut you up. And she's just like, nah, I'm good, bro. I'm just gonna just gonna yell at you some more because you're not getting the hint that the girlfriend is not at home. That's what happens when I'm I'm left home alone. Normally normally uh yeah. Okay, so I think I think that's all I do. And then we go like this and like that, and then come on, get another one in there. Perfect. Pistons, the new lag, because the devs still haven't dealt with the lag yet. Yeah, I know. The pistons have a lot less lag, though. I mean, the, the devs still have a lot of work to do, but let's be real. I mean, there's a lot of building games that do way worse than this in terms of lag. But, uh, yeah, they still have a lot of work to do. I'm not going to deny that. But, uh, you know what? They're getting there. They are getting there, and I am really excited for the prospects of survival and to see what survival can bring. Uh, it's going to be, I think, great. Pretty much the only game I'm going to play when survival comes out is Scrap Mechanic. If all, like, think about it. If all you have to do in Scrap Mechanic is run around and wreck farm bots, yeah, that's, like, literally the only game I'm going to be playing. I'm just going to build stuff that wrecks farm bots. Like, that's going to be the best thing ever. Come on. Thank you. Nope, don't want that. Want this one again. 
Gotta go down this way to here. Grab this one. Stupid door. Okay, so I think we've got a lot more downwards thrust now. So let's see this. We've got one goes up, two goes up relatively quick. Four closes all those doors. Those gear are going to deploy. Three drops it down pretty quick. Yeah, that's a lot better now. And then the gear deploy there, you can see. And then... Touch down, and then we can let go of one. That's sweet. I like it. It's, uh, it needs more thrust, though, pushing it down in the front on three. It is tipping down in the back too much. Although that won't really matter with the gyro, because the gyro should correct for that. But... Um, it should have it should have another thruster pushing it down in the front which we'll just do by throwing another one way up there if i can see it up there there we go just like that i can't actually walk up in there and i don't really want to delete all the concrete so i'm just kind of like sneaking my view in there and make sure it's lined up as far forward as it can be and then you know doing them one at a time and then i can just connect them through the through the floor. I mean, it's not really great, because if you ever need to change them, you're kind of screwed, but, uh, you know, whatever. Let's do that. The nice thing about all this sensor-activated doors and stuff is you can grab a connection, and then you can walk through the building. Like, or through the, um, spaceship. That's what we're building. We're building a spaceship. Alright, there we go. So I think this will be better. And then two is up. Perfect. Yeah, and then three is down. So again, it is going to move slow, but uh, I want it to be nice and slow for the autopilot. And then we can drop one there and get that nice deploying bounce. Oh, what's up? Am I going to upload the stream to YouTube? The streams are always upload. Um, is this continuation of older build? Yeah, it kind of started a while ago, a long, long time ago. But uh, yeah, make a hanger for the ship. There is a hanger. That's like the whole bottom. What's up, Mr. B's Knees? Welcome to the stream. Make a Bugatti Veyron. A bunch of guys have made Veyrons already. Uh, build a method. Yeah, so I want to... Well, I've got the hangar bay on the front. I'm realizing, actually, this 4 button I'm going to have to get rid of. I'm going to need to do that differently. Um... But yeah, I've got this big hangar bay on the front, and basically what I want to have happen is have a remote-controlled ship sort of deployed in this hangar bay, right? And then you launch it out, do your thing, and then you can bring it back. Right? Or potentially a car. I don't know yet. Haven't really decided what goes in the hangar bay. Probably not going to worry about that for this stream. I'm just going to worry about getting this thing flying with the autopilot, with the gyro, with all the stability and stuff. And then uh, what I would say is you guys should post your suggestions once the stream is uploaded to YouTube. Post your suggestions for what goes in the hangar bay on the stream video. And uh, I haven't decided if I want to do it. Like, I could do a remote control flying vehicle. Um, I could do, like, a radar truck or something that you land, you deploy it, and then you fly back up maybe and have, like, a radar screen or something like that. I don't know yet. I could do, like, a deployable gun. Um, but, yeah, I, I'm definitely going to get you guys to post your suggestions and then we'll we'll go through that and do it accordingly. Um, this is definitely still it's still tilted up in the back. I don't I don't like that. I mean, let's go let's go to flat ground, but I have a feeling on flat ground it's going to be tilted up in the back and I really don't like that. Is it? Like a little bit. Yeah, it is. It totally is. Right. So I got to like weaken these like crazy. So we'll take these back two and just completely weaken them. And then these inside back two will drop to like three. And like maybe that'll help. Three. Three. I don't think they're at the wrong height. They're definitely at the right height. Or are they? Is that is that maybe they're at the wrong height? Am I am I one block low on the front? Oh my god, I am. Am I actually? No, is it is it just one block low? Am I is that what I did wrong this whole time? So I've just been adjusting I've been adjusting pistons for nothing? Oh my god, that totally is, isn't it? 
Wow. Are you serious? Are you? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Well, that's. I feel stupid. No wonder the thing's off in height. It, it friggin' it hasn't been on in height the whole time. This is dumb. All right. Well, um, shoot. Okay. Well, easy mode actually. No, hold on. This isn't. This isn't a problem at all. All we gotta do is increase these guys all to six. Uh, or do we keep... No, because six is going to push those off the ground. So we have to decrease the back ones by one. Because otherwise the ramp will be too far off the ground, right? So we got to go... So these are six on the front. So what are these at the back? These are three. They're already really short, though. You know what? No, we're going to go up. We're going to go up at the front. Because I don't want I don't want it to be too short. If it's going to be too short, it's going to look stupid. You're going to land, and it's going to be like, why do we even have landing gear? The thing, like, might as well just land on, on nothing. Plus, if it hits, like, a hill or something, it's just going to center, high center itself. All right, so let's just do this real quick here. There we go. See, that's better. Now it's all straight. Perfect. Now what happens if we deploy this? Well, that's not too bad. There's a little bit of a lip, but you know what? That's not bad because any even a small wheel I think can get up that lip. Oh yeah, for sure. Like let's let's put a like a, a terrible vehicle here. Uh, what do I have that has small wheels and doesn't suck? Pretty much everything I have with small wheels sucks. Okay, well here, you know, here's a forklift. This definitely sucks. Um, oh, here we go. There, this will do. See, this is, all we need was the wheels up at the front. There we go. Perfect. See, that can do it. Oh God. Oh boy, it's breaking. But anyway, so that'll that'll be good. Okay, so let's just make this thing fly now. Okay, so forward thrust is going to go in the back. Um, check. We need roll thrusters, which are going to go in either side here, because that would make the most sense. And I think to roll, we're just going to go up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I'm not going to be able to adjust any of these, am I? Oh, no, no, yeah, I will. Yeah, I will. 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 15 like if we can't if we can't do it with 15 thrusters i don't think we're ever going to do it and then we'll just put a slit in here for now and then see now we can get in there and uh, adjust all these real quick when we need to is that is that right yeah so one two yeah the one thing with big builds i mean is it would be i should use modded thrusters but i don't know I'm, i like vanilla parts there's something about it where it's just like i have to have to do everything in vanilla, you know? I missed a super chat. Uh oh, I did miss a super chat from Mix Up. Mix Up 221, what's up? Five dollar super chat. I watched your elevator stream and I learned so much about logic. I just wanted to say thanks. No problem. I, I It's really hard for me with those streams because the logic takes a lot longer to figure out. And so um, a lot of the time I know it's really boring because it's like, hey, look, I'm connecting the same thing 500 times. But um, thanks so much for that super chat. Really appreciate it. And, uh, I'm glad you guys can learn something. Alright, let's, uh, do this again. So, 15 total. So, let's go out from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Right. And so basically what we're going to do is uh, we'll have it so that the stabilizer, the gyro, is only turned on when you turn on that one key to actually fly the ship. So if you land on a slope, it's not a big deal. And then I'm also going to put the gyro on pistons. And the reason why is I want you to be able to hit a button to reset the default position. So if you do land on a slope, um, you could straighten out the plane manually because I'm going to give you manual roll control and then you'll... Uh, and then you hit the gyro piston reset button and that'll reset the gyro to the current position by just forcing it into position basically with pistons that come out on all the sides and just completely clamp the gyro up and uh, i'm hoping that'll that'll do it so thinking probably will 
Okay, well, I can't, I can't reach up there, so... Well, let's just put one here. And that was on the outside, yep. So then we'll go back over here. So I'm hoping this is enough for roll control. I honestly don't know. I'm, I'm not an expert in planes by any means, but... Left side is missing a roll thruster. I don't think so. It's 15 to 15, isn't it? You guys are trolling now. Like, a lot... Every time, someone always goes, Oh, you know, you're missing one. So watch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then this one's going to be 15 too. Guaranteed. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh my goodness. How is this 16? Did I... Did I... Really? Oh man. Now I feel bad. We weren't trolling at all. Whoops. Yeah, it was supposed to be, it's supposed to be 15. My bad. Alright, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for doubting you. All right, let's do this. Here. Ba -da -da, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is the super entertaining part of the program where, again, uh, if you have the materials... I would suggest making yourself a sandwich. Oh. Okay, and then we'll go like this. And then we'll test this with the manual environment first. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. Alright, so we need two sets of buttons for this, so this will be one, two, one, two. And that'll be roll the one direction, that'll be roll the other direction. And it'll just be like that, and like this. And I don't really know which is which, it doesn't really matter. Four and five, and four and five. And this one will go to that back side there that and then the other one will go to the other side which is five and hopefully this will give us manual roll control to start and then we'll have to we'll have to make it automatic there we go okay let's let's try this come on here we go perfect 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 okay let's go all right so one we don't have the door close anymore so that's good it's it's floating pretty evenly two goes up pretty decently three goes down no problem okay four. Oh yeah that definitely rolls it oh yeah okay wow that's great i mean it definitely it tips it forward for sure too when it rolls because you can see there it's it's obviously got more weight in the back but uh that works really quite well oh boy okay so we now we need pitch controls as well uh which will be like up and down left and right like up and up in the back and uh down in the front and then yaw which will be left and right so we need all four of those but yaw i'm not too worried about yaw is usually pretty easy um but pitch we need so we need a bunch of thrusters in here that we can use for pitch control so we had 15 for roll so we should have a similar count for pitch um i'm thinking like the problem is i don't want to take up too much space in here but i like, there's no other place to really put pitch thrusters. Unless I put them in that hallway. Oh, I'm on a lift. That's right. Yeah, I think, you know what? I think, like... Oh, okay. Hello. I don't, like, yeah, I don't want to double stack them at all because it just sucks. Um, actually, you know what we could do? We could do something really crazy, which is, you know, let's try this. Let's put all the pitch controls in the back, 
and we'll have some that go up and some that go down and maybe that'll do it all so let's go one two three and then yeah and then one two three so that's like what 12 and then i can stack another 12 up top here can i can i fit stuff there oh perfect i can cut that out so we'll just we'll just do this oh no i can't cut that out never mind it doesn't matter we'll just put it in front of this so we'll just cut this line and we'll do this so I'm, I'm hoping like i can just control the back up more and the back down more and maybe that'll pitch the whole craft like hopefully we'll find out because then we can wire all this into a gyro and then we're good to go All right, let's see what we can do with this now. My day is not too bad. How is your day, Ipkey Gaming? That's a cool name. All right, let's, uh, yeah, Orgate, Orgate, problem solved. Think, like that's what I need for pitch I mean I, I don't know if this is gonna even work it might not pitch it enough but I really want to avoid putting thrusters in that front hanger if I can but I don't, I don't I don't think it's gonna be possible I think we're gonna we're gonna be stuck dealing with that for sure all right so let's get some pitch controls up here now come on there we go and pitch Just like this. And like six and seven and like six and seven. I'm not too worried about the key mappings yet. We can always adjust it after the fact. I just wanna, like I can always like re rearrange those controls. I just wanna make sure it actually works. So we'll try that and then seven we'll try this one. All right, let's see what happens. I mean, I don't, I'm not really with a lot of confidence on this one, to be perfectly honest. Two, let's go up. Four, five, four. Okay, so six does what? Oh no, it tips it back a little bit, not very quickly. And seven, does seven tip it forward? Seven doesn't even tip it forward. So that's what I was worried about. Once it gets past a certain point, it doesn't even it doesn't even matter. It won't do. Or is seven not hooked up? Is that the problem? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh yeah. No, that's not oh. Of course we would get stuck. Of course of course we would. Court of course. Court. Of Dang it game. There we go. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know if seven's not being. I think seven's activated. I, I just think it sucks. I'm definitely gonna need the stupid thrusters in the in the one side because what's happening is I think it's just acting like a flat platform. It's just like pushing it. It's not actually um, it's not actually giving it enough angular force. But let's just let's just go up straight and test it on its own and see if that makes a difference. I don't think it will though. I think I'm still gonna need those in the back, but I'll need more in the front. So let's just open this door because we don't. There we go. Ugh. Okay. So let's test seven just on its own. So let's go up here. So two goes up. And then seven on its own. Does it do anything? It doesn't do anything. Hmm, is seven hooked up to anything? 
Oh, it's it's hooked up backwards. But you gotta be. Yeah, it would probably help if I actually knew what I was doing today, and I wasn't, you know, half asleep. Those would probably both be good things in terms of building uh, for scrap mechanic here. Okay, so there we go. So we've got that. Got this. Okay, so let's go up again. Two and seven. Like, barely does anything. Oh, that's so, it's so slow. It, it needs more in the front. Like, I can't, I can't get around it. I wish I could, but there's really no way to do it. It lands cool, though. That's kind of nice. But I think, actually, what I'm just going to do, because those are the roll controls, if I put the pitch controls back here, like, how far forward is this? I might be able to get away with just putting... That's too short. Um, I might be able to get away with just putting some downward thrusters inside these. But I don't know. It's not going to be enough because that's like the center of gravity. So it needs to be, they still need to be way up here. You know what? We're just going to, we're going to have to just bite the bullet and freaking do it. Now we'll put them up, you know, we'll put them up in the control room. That's the only, that's the only place I can think of. I don't want like thrusters in visible locations, but it's so hard in scrap mechanic to make something where like all your thrusters are hidden. Unless you literally plan it like that from the beginning. Like in the case of the hover sub, I had an entire fake wall in between the, the main sub room and uh, the outside. So you could put all your thrusters within that room, but it really just, it sucks. It's be nice i mean i know everyone's like oh well just use modded thrusters because modded thrusters have a smaller footprint and you know that's true but you know it's not really the point the point is you should be able to to do this stuff like there should be a smaller thruster in the base game and there's not um so we're just gonna do like this i don't even know if that's gonna because no, I'm going to interfere with everything else. See, this sucks, because I like this area up here as it is. I don't like, I don't want to put extra crap in it. Uh, da, 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 da. Hmm. And if I put them on the sides, it's going to look silly. I can't just have them in the back. I don't want to use suspension glitches. Interesting. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know where to freaking put thrusters, man. I need. I need more space. I think you know what. I don't like. Here just looks stupid. Well, this is a double layered thick wall, though. I could do some stuff with that. Hmm. Like, I, I don't know. I really don't know where to put them. Put them on the top and on the wall? And wall them off? Or build the thruster po pod? I mean, I could put them on the outside of that wall. You know what? Is that what we're gonna do? I, I think I just wall them in. I mean, that wall is thicker than it is. Then, okay, let's do that. You know what? You guys are right. I, I'm wasting too much time just thinking about where to put stupid thrusters. Okay, so we'll just go out here. And this wall is actually thicker... See, it's too thick. So we can do this. And then we can go one, two, three, four. And we'll go five up. Actually, we'll go four up on either side, which will make ten. And then we'll go four down on either side. And uh, yeah, we'll just actually we'll do it we'll do it this way. So it'll be alternating so they'll get better power split between the two of them just like that so starting one block back yeah 
And we'll do it over here as well. Son of a... I'll get back up. So one block back, and then uh, go across. And I think I started with the one aiming up, or down, yeah, up, down. Down, I mean. Like this, like, nope, like this. Perfect, and then we gotta adjust these. And then all we need to do is add steering controls, which should be pretty easy to do. And forward thrust controls, obviously. So I think... Uh, I don't even think I, I'm necessarily going to wall these off. I think I'm just going to do this. Right, like just give it a nice kind of like I don't know, how does that how does that look from third person view? Does that look okay? Oh yeah, that, that looks pretty cool actually. It looks like some sort of like additional power unit. I feel like I should have more of them almost going along the back, but you know what, that's not bad. So let's leave it like that. Alright, and then we'll do this. Perfect. And then these are all cranked at max. Yep. So now. Oh, this is going to be really difficult to hook up. So it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Forgot we sealed that in. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Remember, it's down, up, then down, then up, then down, then up. If I don't repeat it like 500 times, I'm going to totally forget and it's going to be a problem. This is what always happens. Like, I'll get all the way up to the top, and I'll be like, all right, and now I don't remember what it is, and then I'm gonna have to go back out. But it's down up this time. Get over here. All right, so six is pitch. Six is the bottom ones, which means they're down at the back, which means if they're pushing down on the back, then you'd be up. So it's down, up, down, up, down. Cat. Up, down, up. So down, then up, then up. Come on. Okay, and then up. Uh, which is this one, and then this one. And then down, which is seven. So seven is the first one, the third one, the fifth one. One, two, three, four, five. And this one. One, three, five, seven. Okay. Perfect. So now we should have some like really crazy pitch speeds. Let's go up. So seven. Yeah, way better. And six. Way better. Look at that. Now we can actually like see if we're in like a bad spin kind of situation. We can actually push ourselves out of it. And then four rolls the one way, five rolls the other way. Oh yeah, now we got a spaceship. Now we just need some movement controls forward back, but we got the stability side of it. Let's see, can we do a barrel roll? Turn off one, turn back on one. Oh yeah, this is this is legit. Best spaceship ever. This thing's awesome. Okay, sweet. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that uh, tweet, actually. Build a clock like the one on uh, Axelot did. I think that's a great idea. I'd love to build a clock and scrap mechanic. I haven't done it yet. That's sweet, though. This ship is going to be great. Okay, so let's just uh, let's just get out of here. Okay, I need to really quickly just grab a water bottle from a fridge. Give me two seconds. I'll be back.
Okay, I am back. Okay. And yeah, it's got the same kind of flight pattern as a helicopter, but that's okay. Alright, so let's add some more thrusters now. Let's add some forward thrusters and some steering thrusters. So, steering, I think we're just going to do like this. And then we're going to probably need another five in the back. Like that, right? And then we'll just hook these up to a gate because it'll be easier. It's a nice little simple gate. I like hooking stuff up to logic just because it does make my life easier when it comes down to um, having to automate stuff later. Hey, kitty. Do you want to come say hi? Because you're in a very talkative mood today. Come here. Come here, kitty. Oh, boy. Oh, my, my screen fell. Well, my cat pulled my screen down. Hold on. Welcome to my apartment, guys. Ugh. My cat is useless today. So anyways, welcome to my apartment. Um, because my cat is, you know, having a good time. Yeah, I know you can see my house. That's okay. It's my apartment. See my apartment? Not much to it. It's a very small apartment. But yeah, I live in an apartment with my girlfriend. That's why that's why I keep this, because I don't have a, a my own YouTube office yet. So I don't really have much of a setup tour. Like, my setup tour consists of my desk, and like, my living room is behind me, and I have a blanket that I handle. But when my cat wants to be a brat, come here, kitty. See, when this one wants to be a brat, she likes pulling down the screen. She doesn't look very impressed right now, does she? Hi. But the belly rubs. She looks pissed. Now are you gonna sit? Okay. Yeah. So, anyways, that's my that's my apartment, guys. It's not really exciting, but I once I get to the point where I actually have like a proper apartment with like you know a proper YouTube office, then yeah, I'll do a I'll gladly do a setup tour of that. But um, right now our apartment isn't very big, and YouTube wasn't really you know a thought when we were moving at all wasn't even doing it at the at the time so there was no real reason for me to have um, you know an office for my computer or anything like that it was just like whatever we'll just leave it um, so these ones need to hook up to the opposite side which is that one over there but yeah when I move again next time uh, I'll definitely be getting a bigger apartment just like that okay and then this one goes into the right and this one goes into that one now the spider web's starting to get fun just lots of stuff going everywhere okay yeah yeah about the whole glitches thing I I really don't use glitches unless I have to and I also don't use mods unless I have to like I have very few modded builds um, the only builds I have that use mods are ones where it's like literally impossible to do it in vanilla without mods. For example, like the trick skateboard, you can't put enough thrusters on the skateboard to make it do the tricks you want it to do unless you use the single like one by one modded thrusters. Other than that, you're basically screwed, right? So uh, we've got yaw control now. So left on either of these activates this side here. Yeah, that side there. I'm not going to make the same mistake this time. Left on this one also activates that side. Right, and then right activates the other side, I hope. If not, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We'll just reverse the steering bearing. So right on this one activates this other side. Like so. Perfect. And then the other one. Come on. Let's go up. Uh, right on this one. Okay, so now we should have steering controls. So the only thing we should be missing, I mean, hopefully these are powerful enough. The only thing we're missing is going to be forward thrust. 
All right, so one, two goes up. Hi. Okay, good. And A. Is that is that even? I, I can't tell if that's actually. Is that actually activating them? I might have to turn particles on here. Hold on, I'm gonna turn I'm gonna turn particles on so I can see it. It's only really bad when it gets near the ground, but we'll, you know we'll just leave them on for now because like whatever, screw it. A oh my god, that is activating them, which means it's activating them. It's just really. Where's my am, am I activating the wrong ones? No, they're opposites for sure. It's just not. It's literally just not enough, eh? Like not anywhere, not anywhere close to enough. Okay, let's put like another three on either. Hey, hey, hi! Do you want to stop pulling on my shirt? You're wrecking my shirt, cat. You just, you literally just pulled a giant thread out. Like you don't, you don't even care. You don't have to pay for the clothes. I pay for clothes. Freaking cats, man! Cats don't care about anything. They're like, love me, pet me, feed me, and go away. And that's basically how a cat operates. All right, we, uh, we're definitely tipping up here a little bit. Which is interesting. So that means we're actually heavy in the back. I'm going to put some thrusters here to help balance this weight out. Like so. And I'll put another one here. It's going to change though as we add more weight. That's the problem with this whole thing, right? So, and then of course, once you have an auto leveler, it's not really going to matter. So, could you stop? Hey, hey, stop. Screw off. She just basically like keeps, uh, keeps clawing my hand, my, uh, my shirt and ripping threads out because I'm not constantly paying attention to her usually the way cats operate all right so uh four is tip nope that's the wrong way six no that's the wrong button six no seven okay what about now it still barely rotates like my god that's slow all right we need more in the front that's the issue ah don't you dare she looks up and she goes like this with the claw and she's just waiting and then she's just waiting and then she's like and then she looks at you like, what? She knows what she's doing. She's not stupid. Cats are smart. They're just, they're just a pain in the butt. Like, I guess, okay, let's just complete this then, at least. Oh, these aren't even at max. Is that, are you serious? Oh my goodness. Well, that's the first problem. None of these are at max, but let's, let's put more on anyways. All right, let's uh, yeah, let's just do this like that, and then these ones go to this back one here. Don't you dare! I see you. I see what you're doing. My cat, I swear to God, this this nah, this cat, she is the most like she's Siamese, right? And like if you so if you guys don't know, Siamese cats are very um, they're very talkative. And the, which is fine, but they're also very demanding. How would you ah? And so they, uh, yeah, they're always demanding, like all 110% of the time. And uh, it's basically they have two attitudes. One is, I want your attention and nothing but your attention, and the other attitude is, I hate you. Leave me alone um, for the rest of your life. All right, this is this is actually going pretty good. Two still goes up, three still goes down. Still nice and slow, which is okay. I mean, you can always use like the pitch controls and stuff to help with that. I don't even know what units it is. SEK50, hello sir, I'm Puppy, a music producer from Sweden. Right now I have 31 subs, I wanna have 100 today. If you help, if you want to help me, can I please have a shout out? Well, you donated me, I, I, I'm assuming that's Swedish. I don't know what Swedish currency is. But uh, check it out, his name's Puppy. He's a music producer, that's pretty cool. If you have no copyright music, that's awesome. Let me know, 
I would love to, to expand my no copyright music library. Oh yeah, it's, it's Swedish Krona is what it is. So awesome. Thank you so much for that donation. Really appreciate it. All right. But yeah, Puppy the Music Producer. Check out his channel, I guess, if you want music. I'm very curious about that, actually. I, I There's a lot of music producing channels. Um, and uh, I, I actually, I've talked to a few of them. Unfortunately, there aren't that many that have no copyright stuff. It's all copyright, which obviously doesn't work for me because I can't use it in anything. But uh, all right, here we go. Hold on. You know, this is really stable. Like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so then, uh, what happens if I go A? Okay, D doesn't do anything. Are you serious? Is it still really that slow? My god, that's terrible. My goodness, that is so terrible. Well, we need a lot more rotational thrusters. That's pathetic. That's so slow. Like, how come it's not even working? Like, really? It should rotate at least somewhat. None of this, like, complete and total garbage. Like, it literally doesn't want to rotate at all. Like, there's... Okay, there's five. I don't, I don't understand why this doesn't want to rotate. Like, how many thrusters do I have to put on this to get it to rotate? And, like, the ones in the back must be activating because if they weren't, the ones in the front wouldn't be activating. They all feed off the same gate. I still fit a gyro back in here somehow, too, which is just a whole other problem that I haven't even thought about yet. Alright, so let's do that. by Mitchell or uh, yeah Mitchell thanks so much for stopping in appreciate you coming out to the stream uh, da, 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 six okay eight oh my god this is so slow my god this is like this is like the slowest possible you know what that's it yeah thank you You might need to break my no glitch rule. Eh, you know what? I don't. It's okay. We'll we'll be fine. We'll we'll just we'll just go overkill. When all else fails, just you know, kill them with with thrusters. So we just need to make sure it turns. So I mean, let's just let's just you know hammer more into here. Like screw it. Who cares? So let's go. Uh, how far back can we go? Now let's go. You know, let's just go from here. There's another five. How come I can't see that one? There we go. Five. Okay, so there's another five there. And we'll put another five over here. I mean, we'll get this to work. I have... Uh, the nice thing is going forward is going to be really easy. Just a lot of thrusters. All right, five. Okay, and then those ones have to be paired up to the gates inside, so we can do that all from the inside. I just want to get this stupid thing flying. It's almost already been two hours. It doesn't even fly yet. Jeebus. Alright. Cat. Cat. Hey. 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 Like those should help give it some extra some extra turning leverage, I would think, way out there. The problem is this thing has a lot of concrete. I swear to God, cat, I'm gonna, cat, I'm gonna. Oh, there you go. This is literally the cat's favorite spot to be when I'm on my computer. But of course, I have to lean back more, and then I can't reach my mouse and keyboard. But she'll just she'll just sit here. This is like 
this is what I this is what my life has become basically yeah I'm not I'm not even allowed to move there's a fake Moombo really is there a fake Moombo in chat uh, this is my cat tiny the other cat's name is Nala but she's she's off sleeping like she normally does and yeah it is possible to clean up spider webs you could put like logic gates all along the side and then have them connect at the very bottom. I just don't really care. I just put them all over the place. But uh, yeah, you could clean up the spider webs very easily. You will have more of a delay on everything though. All right, there we go. Now we're finally getting some actual turning going on. It's gonna dip a bit, but that's okay. Once we get a gyro on it, we won't have any issues. Oh yeah, there we go. Now it can turn. I mean, it has to pick up a little bit of speed. Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is good. This is good. Oh, boy. We're going to crash. Oh, God. We're going to crash. It flies like a helicopter. No, fly like a helicopter. No, no. Sting like a bee. Sting like a bee. Awesome. All right, perfect. Yeah, we'll be able to do it. All right, so now we just need to do the good old fashioned forward thrust. And we're going to have to have two layers of it. Because the autopilot is going to use a slower version than the manual control. And then we just need to add a gimbal and then we're good to go. Alright, so... Oh, thrust, you know what, forward thrust... How much room do I got? Let's go. Let's just start choking up thrusters here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like that. That's eight. And that's like ten. Or not eight. That's, that's eight now on each side, sorry, which will be 16 total. And then we'll just put another two up here. That makes 10. Because we can fit another two up here. Okay, so that's 10 total. And then we'll just, you know, we'll just connect them to like an all to a single gate here. So this will be our forward gate. Because this is getting really ridiculous. Lots of thrusters. But you see now, the other reason why you want to turn particles off too is because it'll look uh, better when you don't have all the stupid um, thrust particles shooting through the walls and stuff. Alright, like that. And then this goes into here and goes into there. But yeah, I think for this stream today, I'm going to make sure I can get the whole thing flying and get the gimbal stabilizer. I'm not too concerned about setting up the autopilot today. Because um, I do want to find out what I'm, what you guys think and what you want me to put in the uh, the actual hangar bay. Whether or not it's an autopilot vehicle or a remote control vehicle or, or what you want in there. Because um, I do want to get your guys' feedback on that. And then uh, based on that, we'll determine how I do the autopilot. Because basically the idea being the autopilot is going to control the mothership while you're controlling whatever else is in the hangar. And if Spexy was here, you guys need to check out Retro Specs. Really cool dude. I like him. He's a pretty, uh, pretty decent guy. He builds a lot of cool stuff in Scrap Mechanic. One of the better builders for sure. All right, we're gonna do this, do that, do this, go like that. Cat, hey, hey. All right, perfect, like that. Uh, that's not gonna be enough to, to do anything, but at least to start. And the forward thrusters for that once we get up here. So that's this guy. Or this guy. So I use pretty much all OR gates and 
that's basically what's giving me relays. So this kind of helps save on the spider web um, with the sense of a relay because, hey, would you stop? You just ripped my shirt again. Would you? Ridiculous. You hear that? What are you complaining about? Ready? Complain time. Come here. Come here. What's the complaint? What's the complaint today? Okay, here we go. This is this is the complainer cat. Come here, come here. There you go. She's not impressed with any of this right now. Final complaint. Yeah, like. What? Who's the? Where's the moonbow? Where's the moonbow faker? I'm not seeing the moonbow faker. But yeah, the cat is uh, the cat is very complaining. What's up, Daniel Sampson? Shout out to you. Where's this Moonbow Faker? Come on, Moonbow Faker. Show yourself. First of all, I don't know why Retrospects is not a mod in my um, in my stuff. There you go. Retro is now a mod on my channel. Number one. Number two. Where's this fake Moonbow? Oh my God, that is such a fake Moonbow. You know how I know you're a fake Moonbow? You know, you know how? You know how? Because Moonbow's Moonbow's not even home. Bye, fake Moonbow. Yeah, Moonbow's Moonbow's not even even not even in his house right now, and I know that because he's like on Twitter. Like Moonbow's not getting home until another like two hours from now. He's busy traveling between Ottawa and um, and his house in Halifax. So, just saying, Mubo's Mubo's not actually actually here, and uh, I know it's physically impossible for him to be watching my stream right now. So, nice try. There there was a fake Khan at some point in time, but he wasn't he wasn't claiming to be me, so that was kind of all right. Like he just had my logo and my name, but um, but he wasn't like going around telling people he was me. Which I mean, I guess he kind of is because he's got my logo and name. But all right, so that's that. Uh, how much forward thrust we got? Oh, we got a bunch. This isn't this isn't too bad. All right, so let's pitch up. Nope, that's the wrong button. So we need more because then when we pitch up, I want to be able to like blast off to the moon, not fly backwards, which is what we're doing now. You see, because I'm holding W, but we're still going backwards. Would you stop? Are you done? You done? Nope. Oh, I broke I broke the front lift there. That was that's a an adventure in lag. All right, here we go. Hey. All right, so we need a lot more thrust, like a lot more. And it's gotta be on like a secondary um, system. Which is basically just gonna be like, let's just seal, would you, yeah, I see you. Ah, hey, I, stop. I'm trying to speak my cat's language. It's not working out, guys. It's not working out at all. Uh, okay. Either that or I'm going insane, which is probably true, too. Um, yeah. I can't even make that symmetrical, whatever. You know what? That's gonna, that's gonna be good enough. We're just gonna put a bunch in each of these. Uh, would... Hey. Hey. Yeah. Guys, if you ever get a girlfriend and your girlfriend ever says to you, "Hey, it's okay that we we can we can move in together. I'm okay with moving in together. That's not a problem. But I have two cats." Okay, if she ever tells you this, run. Okay? It's very important to run. Because my god, I lived with no cats, and now I live with two cats, and uh, my life will never be the same. It's it's literally, it's it's just, yeah. Let's put one there, and we'll put a gate here. And then we'll just connect this to there, and this to there, and this to there. Tiny, hey, stop. Let go. I literally, I uh, this has been my life all night last night and all today. She's literally just been... So incredibly needy, it, it's not even funny. Like, I don't even know 
what I'm what I'm doing anymore. But yeah, this has been uh, Cat Talks with Khan. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed them. If you have a dog, well, at least your dog will leave you alone. Would you? I have the worst cat. The worst, at least when the girlfriend's home and I'm streaming, she'll, you know, take the cat for a while and deal with her. But uh, because, because my girlfriend's not home right now, I'm stuck dealing with the cat. And it's just a horrible, horrible experience. You already live with three cats? Yeah, it's it's rough, isn't it? It's a rough life. Living that cat life. Like, the whole, like, cats are dicks memes thing. Like, I didn't really believe all the cats are dicks memes thing until I lived with two cats. And then I realized, no, cats, cats are really dicks. Like, they just, they don't care. Like, a dog kind of, you know, feels bad. A cat just doesn't... Hey, would you... It's like what dogs have owners and cats have slaves that's basically how it works just sit here just just sit yeah no just just sit there all right so now for the remainder of the stream i'm gonna sit here petting my cat all creepily like The back left thrusters aren't at full, eh? I'll have to go check that out. But yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna spend the rest of the stream petting the cat, all creepily, creepily like. All right. Back left thrusters, you say. Well, let us check. You're totally right. Wow. I don't know how you guys catch all this stuff. Totally forgot about thrusters. All right. Let's put more in here because we're going to need more. We'll just put them on the outside because they're going to balance on the other side anyways. And then we'll do that and then that and then balance these on this side. Right. And then these ones will go into here. And then we'll get into that engine room. Yeah, that whole thing's a little too high now. It needs to come up one block. So we do need to adjust all these pistons. Which sucks. All right. Cat, stop. Stop. Welcome to my life. Cat, 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 cat. Gonna make a remix about my cat. Cat, don't know what to say about my cat. Stop being a cat. Because you're a cat. So what happens when I get like two hours of sleep and I'm only awake because I drank a Red Bull? It's like, it's like the worst possible idea. Like these ones are barely even, these pistons are barely even deploying. Would you stop? I'm sick of your attitude. Listen. Listen. Listen, we need to have a chat, okay? This is really simple. I got work to do. Give me like 30 minutes to finish my job. Okay, and then and then you can have all my attention. You okay with that? You're not okay with that. You're not okay. Just go over there then. All right, so let's do this here. Perfect, so that's two deployed, two deployed, two deployed, two like that, okay. Two, whoops, like that. Two, like that. Two, like that. Perfect. And then these ones, we'll just put these on high speed again. So these back ones, they're really not going to deploy much, but it'll just be enough to get the thing off the ground. It's a little bit laggy right now because I'm kind of jamming that whole front assembly into the ground, but um, we got to fix it here. So hold on. So that's good. That one's 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 good. Good. And good. Okay. Ah. Now I got cat hair all up in my face again. So that's like that. Oh, that's not good. How do you all slip off the lift? Like, really? 
Wah, cat hair. I swear to God, I'm like allergic to cats too or something. Because my face always gets itchy when I get cat hair on it. Ugh. It's like a problem. Stupid cats. Okay, that's good. That one's two. Max speed. Two. Max. Alright, so there we go. So... It's a little bit lower now, but like I mean, it's 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 got the right height for. There we go. That looks good. There's something on my face. What do I have on my face? Cosmo's saying I have something on my face. What do I have on my face? I'm I'm confused. What do I have? What do I have on my What do I have on my face? He's like, haha, I made you look. You're a, you're a dink, man. You're a dink. What a, what a dink. Freaking Cosmo. All right, uh, so that's good. So we need more forward thrust hooked up into that other stuff here. Actually, I'm just going to hook it up in the back room. What am I doing? Yeah, just hook up the one thruster into these ones. So open this up. So this guy here, feed into that, and this guy here. So we should have lots of thrust now. All right, lots of thrust, lots of thrust. Okay, so two. There we go, now we can actually like fly up at an angle a little bit. Nice. Oh boy, I'm hitting the wrong button for something. Uh, four? Yeah, no, that's good. Five? Okay, perfect. This is good. This is good. This is actually, this is actually smooth. Like, I mean... Oh yeah, this is good. This is actually, you know what, I'm actually pretty impressed that it actually flies pretty well. I mean, it's very stable when it flies. It's very easy to control because it's so big. Um, I mean, it, it does kind of suck when it turns, though. When it turns, you see it tilts too much, right? But that's just because of the whole issue with scrap mechanic. And, uh, and my, my turning thrusters are probably too low in the center of gravity, but it looks nice. Okay, so hold on. So what's... That's five. Oh, that's not the button. Okay, that's... I don't know what button that is, but... Uh, okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, perfect. That's good. That was solid. Alright, so I think I think now we're just gonna add a gimbal to it so it'll stay stable automatically. And uh and then that way you won't uh I mean you'll always be able to manually hold the roll controls and manually override it, but we'll put a gimbal on it and see if it'll naturally keep itself stable with a gimbal. So for this, we're gonna have to keep it open for now. Um so standard gimbal stuff two free floating gas engine okay so how big is this here this is how what's the distance between these two? Oh, it's 15 okay so perfect so i can go 15 and then one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fifteen would go to there. So I need to actually go off this one here. You know, let's go a little bit smaller then. Let's go like this. And we'll do this. This is a really cool thing now that I, I really impressed with the scrap mechanic, which is you can drag something like this in between. See how you can drag that between those two points now? That's that's amazing. That's such a great feature to be able to do. So now you don't have to no longer do the whole like put a bearing down, put a block down, weld the whole assembly and repeat. It's just like nope, here you go, problem solved. Um also building this out of the wrong block. It should be like lighter caution blocks. Although it really doesn't matter, but so uh, let's just do it with a caution box anyways. All right, let's do this. See like that? Even you can do it even that way and it'll still automatically connect it. So that's kind of neat. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And then boom. So one, two, three, four, five. And then across here to the front like this. But you still have to... See, I'm still going to have to weld this one because this is not... Yeah, this one doesn't double with bearings. But that's an unevenly shaped gyro. Because it is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 in the middle, 12, 13 on the outside. Which, um, yeah, I should probably make it the same. So let's just fix that. Which isn't a big deal, so all we gotta do is we just gotta move this forward again, like so. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then one, two, three, four, and then we go like this. Whoops, and do that, and then we go like this. One, two, three, four, five, perfect. So one, two, three, four, five. It's very important that the gyro stays like relatively symmetrical. Well, actually, pretty much identically symmetrical, because otherwise you're going to run into issues where, like, it has to naturally want to stay balanced on its own. Um, so I think that's perfect now. And then we go right in the middle here, where we put the secondary axis. And this one can, if if the game will, if the if the game will let me do stuff, that would be great. This one balances in here, and then we take it out like this, right? If, again, if game, come on, crouch jump, let's go. This is not, this is not a new concept here. All right, so there we go. So this black one is the inner gyro. And then on top of the inner gyro, we just put a, uh, the weight, which is this beam in the middle. And it doesn't need to be, I don't need a beam on the other side. And then we put a rotating majumner guy here and a rotating majumner there. And, uh, if the game will let me crouch jump out of here, that would be stellar. And we're going to do my favorite four-way gyro, because why not? And then uh, stuff, and then a wait. So gyros are a really simple principle, um, and basically what it is is the rotation causes the game to not calculate the physics on the center object. So, the, well, in real life, they... It, it creates a torque basically is what's happening and so it uh, it forces stability on one axis and so if you measure the gyro position with sensors you can adjust for it accordingly if we can get up here let's do this all right perfect so again make sure guys when this video does come out as an actual video on youtube um that you do go to the comments and post what you think I should put in the hangar because I am going to be looking for those kind of suggestions and uh, I can't even fit in here god dang it okay I don't know if this is gonna be enough weight but I'm gonna try it with just this amount of weight to start this is this is very frustrating I'm I can't cut the floor down any either because I literally need all that room this isn't like the blimp where I had sort of infinite space to put a gyro All right, and then for the sensors, we need a couple of sensors. So the sensors for this uh, black inner circle will go mounted on top of the white circle. 
And so if, this, if the black circle tilts up to the one side, it'll activate that sensor. And if it tilts to the other side, it'll activate this sensor. And again, they're perfectly offset to make sure they maintain uh, that symmetrical aspect. And then we'll put a screw on top of it so the sensors will trigger just a little bit earlier. And then for the yellow one, same deal. We can put, um, we go up here. I'm going to read the comments in two seconds. I just want to get this the rest of this finished up here so it'll start up anyways. Yellow one, we do the same thing here. And then another yellow one up here. So really, those are the four sensors that you'd use on the gyro. And then this hooks up to this motor, and this hooks up to this motor in the opposite direction. And that should be it. There we go. So that's that's a theoretical, theoretically a gyro. Um... Right, so it'll always stay straight. So now we need to hook up the suspend the, the sensor. So if we tilt forward, I'm trying to think here. Let's let's give ourselves some gyro controls. Oh, I don't want to mount them there. Uh, where can we put them here? Let's put them here. Okay, so here's gonna be our gyro our gyro D pad. Okay, so if we tilt. If we're tilting the ship forward, it means the gyro is going to tip up like this, which means the yellow sensor in the back is going to tip forward, then the yellow sensor in the front actually is going to trigger first. This one will. Yeah, so this one, if it tips forward, means we have to pitch back, and this one then means the opposite. And same sense, if we roll to the left, this one's going to activate second, so this one's got to roll right, and this one's got to roll left. Okay, perfect. So now we just need to activate all the controls with that. So pitch forward, this will pitch down, which I think pitch down was, what is it, six? No, seven, 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 seven. Pitch up is six. And then roll left and roll right are four and five, but I don't remember which one's which. So five activates that line. Should be this way? So five would be roll to the right and four would be roll left. Okay, so five would be roll right. So roll right is five and roll left is four. So I think if I've done this right, it should keep itself stable. Maybe. I honestly don't know. Find out. Can't, of course, can't see the gyro. So let's turn left. Yeah, so you can see there. It's actually you can see it's adjusting itself as we tilt a little bit, and then we can go forward. And as we tilt up, it's going to push itself back down. Why do we have such an extreme roll though? The gyro is slightly off on the roll axis. Which is going to happen with gyros. I mean, that's the thing with Scrabble Kitty. You can offset a gyro, you can hit it with a hammer. And this is why I want a zero gyro button. So see right now, the gyro is fighting me. It thinks that it wants to be on this sloped axis because we took off from a sloped plane. So I want to be able to turn off the gyro. And, well, not turn it off, but I want to be able to force it back to a zeroed position with pistons. So that no matter what, I can I can just say no. This is the gyro reset, and now we're it'll it'll stay balanced with whatever new plane I tell it to do. And we can easily do that because right now, if we look, it's gonna be see it's not it's not straight anymore. It's not heavy enough either. That's another problem. So we need more weight on it. So a few things. Okay, so let's put more weight on this stupid thing. I'm gonna go play Logic Bot by Cosmo by Hawk. What the what? Bye at Team Five. But thank you for stopping in. Okay, so I need a heavier gyro. That's the that's problem number one. 
much, much heavier gyro. And I think these are these were spinning in, in weird directions. Okay, so let's turn this off for a sec. So let's just. Interesting how the top one turns off instantly and the bottom one takes a while. I don't know what the deal is with that. But yeah, here we go. This is going to be heavier gyro. It's of course, getting very difficult to navigate back in here because it's very congested. I can't even see. I can't even fit back over there. Okay, so let's go over here. Okay, good. And then like this. And then like that. And then we just need to get the back corner of stuff there. Which I don't think I can do. Let's just spin this super slowly. Okay, and then I think I think that's it. Is that all of them? One, two, three, one, two, three. Is this one a three as well? One, two, yeah, okay. So now we should be able to crank this up to max. And why is that top one not spinning? Oh, it's getting stuck on the stupid bolt pieces. Well, that's a flipping problem. All right, so I guess the top one's gonna have to be lighter. Yeah, no, that's that's not good. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we need a we need a zeroing mechanism. So hold on, let me let me get off this lift. I don't even know where we're oh we're on the ground still. Let's just put this on a lift though, because uh, it's gonna be easier to deal with. Okay, so a zeroing mechanism is really simple. It just needs to be like I don't even think we need two pistons. I think we can do it with one. But I'm going to do it with two anyways, just to be safe. But it's literally just going to be two pistons here in the corner. With a flat piece. Like that. And, uh, no, that's going to get hacked to shreds. Hold on. It's going to be a piston not right in the corner, but just a little bit forward. Should be like this, and then like this. The idea being, if you deploy these two pistons to a length of two, they should push up into the gyro and force it to the zero position relative to the ship, which in turn would, you know, mean that you're good to go. So we can just put that on a really simple gate here. Like that, and then we gotta activate this with some stuff up in the cockpit. All right, let's go up here. Come on. You can do it. Oh my goodness. What am I stuck on? There we go. Okay, so we need some controls for that. I'm just putting all the controls here because it makes it a lot easier to wire them up to the cockpit if I decide to change the numbering system. Um, you know, they're all pre-wired. So they're all like, you know, paired together. And then this one goes to my gyro center, which is this guy. So in theory, I should be able to go up like this. And then I should be able to hit, what is that? Nine? No, eight. You see eight and I just recentered my gyro there. You can see it jerked. And now if I go up and forward, I can turn. Oh, what? What am I doing? Whoa, what? 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 Why? What? What? What the heck? That wasn't supposed to happen. This would really help if I could actually see what the gyro was doing, wouldn't it? Why did that do that, though? That shouldn't have, that shouldn't have done that. Okay, hold on. Let's go, let's go into the back here. Something's really whacked with that gyro, and I think it's because I don't have enough space for it. Oh, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops, I know what the problem is. 
Yeah, it, you need you need the pistons on the other side too. Yeah, because I need I, it, I'm an idiot. You got to brace the gyro on all four sides so that it, it puts it back to a fixed angle. Not in that case, I'm literally just smashing it back so the thing constantly wants to tip up. That's uh, that was stupid. So let's do this here. And it's not even two; it's one block. Actually, and so we can do another one in like this one block, one speed, and one piece of concrete, like this. And then we'll connect that into there, and again back here, same thing. So we'll line that up like this one piece of concrete, one speed, one block. And we'll line you up with this. So now if we hit this, if we're off the lift. So you can see there, it's rotating, and then we can hit this button. And see, that that literally has effectively zeroed the gyro. Because now the gyro couldn't tilt even if it wanted to, right? And so no matter what, that'll put us back into a zero position, and then it'll resume its normal operations from that point. So now it should work. Yeah, before I was zeroing it to a, to a terrible position. Okay, so there's two, so let's get up here. So you can see there we're tilted a little bit to the one side, so all I would do is I can like I can manually adjust it, no problem, right? So I can manually adjust it like that, and let's say this is my... Oh, no, see, it's fighting me now, so that's good. So I'm I'm clearly in the wrong spot here, so let's, let's roll it this way, and then let's just hold 8... And now, no matter where I rotate it to, uh, because I'm holding 8, the gyro doesn't fight me. But then as soon as I let go... Hold on, let me get this... Here. Right? As soon as I let go of 8, that's going to be the gyro's new centered position. There we go. So now I've let go of 8, I've let go of 2, and uh, this is where the gyro wants to keep us at, which is still off. But if I try and correct it now, see, it's going to fight me. And there's going to be a little bit of play on that, obviously, because of the range of sensors. But again, we can hold 0 and then... Or not 0, sorry, hold 8. And then I can roll it back to where I want it to be. And, like, I can have it on an angle like this. And then I can... Oh, not that much. Okay, and then I can let go of 8. And now this is the new gyro start position. So now if I try and roll back... See? The gyro is actually going to fight to keep me at that angle. See how stupid that is? But that it's it's nice because it gives you the advantage to manually control the ship whenever you want to. I should probably have 8 as a switch. Um, but yeah, you can do all that. But uh, how long we, we... We have been streaming though for like 2 hours and 20 minutes, so uh, I am going to end the stream here because I think this is pretty sweet. It actually works now. It's awesome, and it's got that sweet gyro. So make sure you guys, when the stream gets uploaded as a video, um, post what you want to see in the comment section down below in terms of what's going to go in the hangar. I haven't really thought too much about it. Could put remote control. Could do all sorts of other stuff. But, uh, yeah, I definitely need that 8 on a switch. I'll have to do that later. But anyways. But, yeah, make sure you post what you want to see in the comments section down below uh, when this video does go up. I do uh, I do want to see your suggestions. And whether or not that's, like, a lander or something else or whatever, um, let me know. But uh, I definitely can do something with it. And then, of course, i got to paint this whole thing and do some more aesthetic details. But I'm glad it's got that self-stabilization. Uh, it'll allow me to make it autopilot for sure depending on what we need the autopilot to do, but make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, um, and uh, of course, post your suggestions on any of my videos, and let me know what you want to see. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff going on with Pistons right now, and I'm really happy with that, but uh, make sure you post your comments down below, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream, and holy cow, super chat, $2 from Go Alien or Go Home, and uh, I appreciate that super chat, thank you so much. Khan, how are you doing so far? I am doing good, that's good, I am also good, but uh, I am going to go get some food and do some other things and uh, work on this a little bit more. But I'm going to wait until I see what your comments are as to what we put in the hangar. And then I'll put something awesome in the hangar and make a video about this whole thing. But uh, make sure you guys hit up those sections down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!